60 counties in Texas now under emergency due to wildfires. That is including also a nuclear weapons site. We'll talk about that and more. Also, phones are being shut down across the country. Uh, we got more about that. Landlines particularly. People also being forced to pay cash. Uh, for pills now because they can't get these process, they can't get the insurance process. Uh, one person paying eight dollar, uh, sorry, one hundred and sixteen dollars for eight pills that they needed to take. Um, Self checkouts are also being shut down due to thefts in one state. I'll let you guess what that state is, and you'll find out uh, just a little bit into this uh, update section. We're hearing about empty shelves and food shortages across the United States. Let's jump into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade, and these are your updates. Um, these are your updates coming in from all over the place, right? Uh, you guys send in your reports on what you are seeing at your workplaces, at your stores, what you're hearing out there, and we aggregate them here. Please do keep your reports coming in. Use the word update on your comments on this channel to get it to the right place. We do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. Uh, they help people who have retirement accounts and stocks and bonds. It's a great time to rotate uh, your investments over into gold, silver, or platinum. Precious metals are super cheap right now. Stocks are super high. Good time to shift over. Uh, if you want to talk to Jonathan and his team, there'll be a link at the end of the video. Uh, all right, so we start down in Texas. A disaster has been declared in 60 counties. Uh, and there are m many evacuations, too many for us to keep track of right now. Uh, the big fire is the Smokehouse Creek Fire, which is uh, already past 500,000 acres, which is 800 square miles, and it's growing. Uh, it is completely uncontained as of this point. Uh, this is due to dry weather uh, with uh, high winds and high temperatures. There are also 13 other fires uh, burning throughout the state, which is why we're talking about 60 counties. Uh, also, uh, this, uh, the Smokehouse Creek Fire is now the second largest fire in state history, and it may surpass the previous uh, largest fire. Also, there is a Pantex nuclear weapons facility. Uh, they are the largest assembler and disassembler of nuclear weapons in the United States. They take nuclear weapons apart, inspect them, and put them back together again. Uh, they assemble new ones, and, uh, and they also disassemble ones that have been built. Uh, this Pantex facility uh, is northeast of Amarillo, uh, Texas, which is where the, the Smokehouse Creek fire is. Uh, they say that uh, all the nuclear weapons are currently secure, but operations have been paused until further notice. Uh, no word if they're going to move them to safer locations or what with that. We'll keep an eye on that. Some of you guys are being directly impacted by the fire. Uh, please help your neighbors as best you can um, and other people in your area if you are outside the effective area. Uh, if you're inside the effective area, uh, please make sure that you're staying safe, making smart decisions. Uh, don't value your property over your lives or your family's lives, please. Um, and once again, help anyone you can possibly. D Freak says uh, a community college in Southern Oregon was shut down for a while due to a threat. It was determined that it was a hack from out of the country. These have become a little more common, haven't they? Where we're getting bomb threats and threats of attacks uh, that are either being left on voicemail or they're being emailed in anonymously and uh, schools and universities are trying to figure out uh, if this is coming from someone local, if this is credible, or if this is just uh, some random person around the world sending something in. Uh, but we are seeing more and more hacking attempts on school accounts and everything like that. It's just the general reign of chaos that we're seeing out there. A viewer says, um, I have a close friend in the post office and he said that the letter mail has gone, has gotten very low along with packages and there are rumors, more and more rumors of closing some post offices. Uh, we've been hearing the same things here. Yeah. Uh, Prepping in the Burbs says, Utah had a surgery yesterday in a major hospital, have select health insurance and could not use the insurance to get after surgery medications due to cyber attack. Um, the cyber attack was blocked from buying them unless we paid full price in cash. 
Eight pills cost $116. What a mess. So at least in that case, you are able to pay cash for it. Uh, some of these places we've been hearing that you can't even pay cash for it. Uh, they, won't, they can't even process those things. So um, do what you can to, to get uh, rain checks or if you can get uh, promises from your insurance company or anything like that, you may be able to contact your insurance company directly and ask them for some sort of form or something like that, that you can submit this after the fact potentially. Uh, but it is the, the processing company between the hospitals and the insurance company. These are not actually the insurance companies being hacked. So you may be able to contact the, the, uh, the insurance companies directly, but they're probably being overwhelmed by, uh, by hospitals and medical providers directly trying to contact them too. FAFO says all Dollar General stores in South Georgia no longer carry frozen hamburger meat. Haven't seen it in months and, they, and the spot isn't even in the case anymore. So we're seeing them consolidate, right? Well, I mean, with the price of beef going up like it's going to be going in the next uh, few months, it's already going up quite a bit. Uh, they may not think that that is cost effective anymore for folks. Uh, Ron says, uh, Barnesville, Ohio, a friend's wife is an RN at a small hospital. She was called off. Uh, they told her that it was due to lack of patients. Uh, I have heard that hospitals are overrun. Sounds like they're getting uh, cost cutting going on there. And that's quite possible. Um, they, they need to save money, uh, right? Because just the way that the hospitals are getting squeezed by the insurance companies, uh, they, they can't afford uh, to keep people on staff uh, when, they, when they don't have enough work, right? And we're seeing this pressure happening to a lot of rural hospitals. We've been seeing a lot of rural hospitals being shut down. Uh, it's these more centralized uh, urban center hospitals that are the ones that are overwhelmed more. XRS Pioneer says, uh, my uh, wife works in the veterinarian field in mid North Carolina. They are seriously affected by the pharmacy hack as they process all the animal prescriptions. So not just not just human medications, but pharmacies, uh, veterinarian pharmacies are being impacted severely as well. Aaron says, uh, I was at my UPS store yesterday here in Elk Grove, California uh, to ship back a return to Amazon. Their computer systems were down there as well. They took the package, but told me that they couldn't scan it until their system was fixed. Who knows when that will even happen? So more concerns about Amazon and their, um, their systems hacked. Rapid says, uh, from central Oklahoma yesterday, I went to a Goodwill to check uh, for interesting items that they might have. They said Cox Internet was down, uh, which is what they were using for payroll, uh, payment processing, and they were unable to take any form of payment except for cash. I paid cash, but then I went to the local bank ATM. Right. You spend cash, you go get more cash, right? Uh, all the drive up aisles were full with people waiting to interact with the live tellers. Uh, and the ATM was also down. It is very unusual to see that many cars, one and two deep, waiting to make bank transactions all at once. It prompted me to call a friend to warn her to stock up on more cash as well. If you can't spend, if you can't use anything other than cash, and then they make it really hard for you to get cash, what do you do, right? This is not, as we keep warning you to stock up on cash, we're not talking about something that it would be crazy to happen. It's stuff that actually happens. Whenever you have hurricanes come through, it knocks out power and everything like that. All you can spend is cash in a lot of places. So uh, be aware that having cash on hand is something that is a basic uh, need for your family for short-term uh, issues. Uh, Teresa says, uh, California, AT&T sent out letters to people with landlines stating their intent to close down all the landlines in California. My elderly mom is so upset. She lives in an area that does not have good, reliable cell service signals. So AT&T across California is looking to shut down their long, uh, their landlines. 
be aware they may roll that out in your state next. If you're dependent upon your landline, uh, see what you can do now. Uh, see if there's more reliable cell phone services. Uh, what? Because this may be coming your way. Uh, Jason says, local Walmart in Lancaster, California. All of the self-checkout stands were closed and the regular register lines were, uh, were really long. I asked why the self-checkout was closed. I was told that Walmart is shutting down all self-checkout in California due to theft. For those of you protesting and being upset about the self-checkout lines, apparently all you need to do is just steal more stuff. Not that I'm advocating stealing anything, but apparently that's the only thing that's going to get Walmart to shut down those self-checkout lines. So, um, that's what it is. Uh, they also continue to lock more things up. A lot of toys, camping equipment, and auto cleaning supplies were also locked up. This is in addition to what was already locked up. Camping supplies, friends. Don't they know? Guys don't steal stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but, uh, wow, toys. Toys and camping equipment and auto supplies. Crazy. Also, the produce quality was terrible. I needed tomatoes, but they were all nearly rotten. Uh, Sandra says, uh, my pharmacist could not fill my prescription. He told me my insurance company, company had a breach. Uh, I have Medicare, Medicaid. This is not good if our national, federal Medicare and state Medicaid uh, does not have secure computers to keep all of our private information safe. Uh, well, it wasn't, it wasn't the government. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't your state. It was actually, of course, once again, the uh, Change Healthcare um, company. It's a clearinghouse that stands between your pharmacy and your insurance provider. So, but what you just said about all of your security information, all your social security numbers, all of your uh, prescriptions, all of your private information like uh, address, cell phone, all that kind of stuff. Yes, that very well may have been compromised. And, and they're out there saying, well, there's no indication that it's been compromised. If you want to know when an, a government official is lying, listen when they say there is no evidence to suggest or there is no evidence that says when they say that, you know they're lying because it's absolutely not true. It's just stupid. The Change Healthcare company has shut down their computer systems and they haven't even reactivated their computer systems. They don't know what's going on in there. Their forensic guys don't know what actually happened yet. So anyone who's out there, there's no evidence. Well, that's because the computers are still shut down. They haven't gotten in there and examined them yet. If you close your eyes, stick your fingers in your ears and hum real loud, you can legitimately say there is no evidence. <laughs> I haven't heard any evidence. And that's basically the same thing. Selah says, uh, went to BJ's today in upstate New York. One huge produce area was completely gone. They removed the entire table. Produce was very sparse. I got uh, the last bag of organic apples. All the coolers that used to hold cheese, uh, cheeses, lunch meat, and other things were totally empty. They were all running, but empty. There were a few blocks of cheese in the upright coolers. Once again, this is in upstate New York. Uh, but not much. Frozen fruit was limited. Milk and creamers were pretty much empty. I asked the clerk what happened to all the cheese and dairy, and she said she wasn't aware that there wasn't any. Then she said the manager was in the back working on it. I took pictures. It was so bad. Please do keep your updates coming in. If you see something, please do say something to us. Uh, once again, leave a comment on anywhere on this channel and just use the word uh, update in there to get to the right place. Give us some sort of geographical location if you can. If you want to find out more about Genesis Gold Group and what they can do for you, uh, there's a link right there, or you can uh, contact them directly by a phone if that's more convenient for you. If you want to check out another video, there's one right up here. I'll see you over there, or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report.